Good day, everybody. This is Mike Zuzlo with your June 14th Friday grain market wrap up. While the Chicago new crop corn and bean traders had been trying to corral the weather bowl back into its pen since USDA's report earlier in the week, wheat continued its downward price path to close out the week, seeing what I would describe as another harvest Friday bringing about the selling pressure. However, with the weather bulls trying to come back into the market in lunchtime, the bears have came back to the defensive. We're back on the defensive by the time we got to the late day session. I suspect another bout of heavy rains forecasted for most of Iowa, northern Missouri, and northern Illinois on the updated weather model maps were the primary feature bringing the short covering into the corn and into the beans the second half of Friday's trade. We also saw a return of the bull spread for both corn and beans. That was pretty consistent throughout Friday's trading session. Tight cash markets and interior basis levels jumping for both corn and beans came back to help the front end July corn and beans to stay on the positive side of trade. So the second half of Friday was quite a bit different than the first Friday's trade if you came in late to see, to, to see the session end. As we headed into the half, last half hour of trade, July corn, in fact, was able to close back above its psychological level of 650, taking out Thursday's high, closing double digits higher. Now, even though the wheat traded lower on Friday's session due to the harvest picking up somewhat here in the United States, and also in Russia, bearish traders were not able to crack through Thursday's low, which was also the weekly low. The weaker dollar and the stronger energy markets, I think, helped the wheat market in particular and keep new shorts out of the market. Ethanol, bean oil, wheat seem to really find buying spillover pressure with the uh, crude oil making some really strong moves up. In fact, crude oil hit a four-month high as Friday's session was closing, this even though we're at historically high stocks domestically. Also on the dollar, the, in only two weeks, the June dollar index has fallen over 5%. That's the biggest break in this contract since last September. So really important to watch the dollar next week when we come back. Also, let's watch the Mideast. We've got Syria back in the news and the United States helping the rebels. That helped the crude oil market. That's probably going to be with us again next week. That's it for now. Have a great weekend, everybody. This is Mike Zuzlo signing off. Have a great day. And globalanalytics.biz is your place for information. There is substantial risk of loss in trading futures and options. The impact of cycles or current events on prices may be already reflected in futures.